Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install games and applications whether the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4 or just generally homebrew applications onto an external hard drive on your PlayStation 4 that is jail broken and you know technically this will help you set up an external hard drive on a regular PS4 as well okay so what you want to do is make sure you have an external hard drive and there are, are a few requirements that you need to meet for it so I can actually you can even go to the Sony website and you can have a look or if you go to settings I can just show you here so if I go to storage I've only got the system storage it says to use the connected USB storage device because I have a you know in store I mean connected one so one terabyte you need to go to devices go to USB storage devices and I have my data traveler which is a USB stick with, with a game on there that I'll show you install into the external hard drive and this is the external hard drive ignore the fact that it says there's only 206.5 megabytes of storage on there it is a one terabyte and once I format it it will you know properly show if I try and select the data traveler and I do format as extended storage we get this error so it needs to meet these requirements USB 3.0 or later it does meet that requirement 250 gigabyte minimum 8 terabyte maximum it does not meet that requirement because it is a 64 gigabyte USB stick and directly connected to the PS4 does meet that requirement so those those are the general requirements and the middle requirement pretty much knocks out most USB sticks yes there are ones out there that are you know like 256 512 but they're so expensive that you probably would only go for a external hard drive okay yeah so make sure it meets those requirements so if I go back if I select the hard drive now select format as extended storage as you can see it did not give me the error because it knows that it is a higher capacity than higher capacity than 206.5 again don't know why it's saying that i think it's just a small partition on there and that's detecting it as the primary partition but it knows that there's more so it says you can install applications in extended storage however save data screenshots video clips will only be saved in system storage that's a limitation nothing we can really do about it probably can via jailbreak might look into that click next and yeah click next again I think you click format button but you know what I mean and okay so now we got G Drive mobile with Thunderbolt that's just what the drive is called the device will be formatted as extended storage do you want to continue yes that is formatting this should not take very long because it is just a quick format okay this device has been formatted as external storage applications will now be stored in extended storage and you can change it right here and I'll show you how to do that so go okay as you can see it has detected it has 918.4 gigabytes obviously you know those are terabyte there's always a little bit you know either reserved or because drives are made with you know gibby bytes and maybe bytes in mind and devices actually at the PlayStation 4 and your computer really has gigabytes and megabytes that's a video you know a separate video that I actually really do want to create the differences between them and why they actually don't report as a terabyte because technically they are it's just the differences in more terminology than anything okay so if I go back go back and now if I go to storage we have two there and the extended storage only 50 kilobytes has been used so far if you look here it says application install location so that is the default one so if I was to if I wanted to change it back to system storage or change it to something else you click you know your options button uh, right there go to application install location and I'll change it to system storage or obviously we want it as extended storage so note that it only says 50 kilobytes has been used and the top one says 851.5 megabytes has been used if I go back and I've got a USB stick plugged in as you saw the data traveler I've got a game on there so I'm going to go to game package installer select this it's going to start installing this is a PS2 game black it could be anything whatsoever and this is actually installing faster than it was on the internal drive because the connector is faster frankly okay dokie and uh, okay there we go and ready to use so now 
before we go to you know the home menu to show it's been installed if I go to storage as you can see the extended storage instead of saying 50 kilobytes says 1.38 gigabytes so it's installed onto here and you know there's applications black there we go it is the black game and this has taken up a few extra megabytes that'll just be for you know keeping track probably of what has been installed so if i go back to the home there we go black is there and if i click x it launches up the game like i said whether it's a ps1 game ps2 game whether it's a ps4 game doesn't matter this video obviously assumes that you've already done let me just go back to the home menu so that is how you install games to an external hard drive on your PlayStation 4 jailbreak. This video assumes that you've done a jailbreak, whether it's for 5.05, 6.72, or some other firmware. And I've got videos covering that, and I will provide a link to this PlayStation 4 hacking jailbreak playlist. So feel free to check that out. And I've got videos covering how to install PS1 and PS2 games on it because there's a bit of a conversion that you have to do from the bin and ISO files. So feel free to check all that out. And that's it really. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.